Hey, how's it going folks? ET here. Today's tutorial is in Final Cut Pro 10. And what we're going to do is show you how to make a pretty cool YouTube outro. And um, before we get started with Final Cut, let's go ahead and think about how we're going to do this conceptually. And what I've done is I've actually created a an HD image, 1920 by 1080. And um, I just basically grabbed some carbon fiber, a carbon fiber image threw up some text and boxes and a uh, subscribe button here. And then I actually went in and I cut out this middle section here. So where you see gray here is actually transparent. And you'll notice that as soon as we get into Final Cut Pro 10. What this allows me is to actually put images or video, more importantly video, behind this, this full screen image and it allows you to kind of throw videos without having to be so precise that you have to line up the boxes perfectly so they can be a little bit bigger and you know a little bit off center and not not be a problem at all and if you think about it you could probably you can put as many as you want really it depends on how much time you want to spend on it but for this one here i just put last video and then i put random goodness and once you finish the video of course you're going to upload the video and then go and do annotations with links to your last video a random video here and then a link for the subscription button which makes it easier for the viewer to actually subscribe to your channel if they want to and you can promote your other videos by putting your last and some random or whatever you want to put here it doesn't really matter okay so without any further ado let's get into the final cut pro 10 suite here let me make it big enough so it covers the screen and I've already imported the image itself and a couple of video clips here that can work with. So what you're going to do is drag in the image to your timeline. And I'm going to do 1080p, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. And what I'm working with here now is 10 seconds. So I kind of want, I kind of want a 15 second, which gives the, the viewer long enough to kind of watch and read if you think about it 1001 1002 1003 so 15 seconds is more than enough time for them to kind of have a quick look at those featured video clips and to decide if they want to click on that subscribe link there okay so conceptually we have this image here with two two um transparency cut out in the middle it's kind of cookie cutters so we have to put the video below in the timeline so we'll go down here and we'll drop it below. And now you'll notice if we play the clip, actually let me mute the video, the audio, so we don't get interrupted. You'll notice, let me bump the size up here too, that the clip is actually covering the whole, covering both cutouts. Okay, so we have our video clip there. Now I want to resize it so it fits only into one window. And you go into your resizing cropping tool and make it smaller. Put it on the side you want. Of course, make it so it fits. And you'll notice that since it's a transparent image, we don't have to be worrying about lining up exactly in that square because we're, we're good to go. We can make it bigger as long as we don't overlap with the other one. Or if the other one is under this image in the in the layers and the slices of the cake, if you think about it, we're good to go. So of course, I don't need it to be that big. So I'm going to feature it with a quadcopter kind of right in the middle. Hit the done button. So now let's go ahead and drop in the other clip we have here. And these are just random clips I, I picked up in my collection. So got to get, get, get low, get low. Actually, make some room here so you can actually see. And I'll shrink this just up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I can actually dump it down here. And we have our other video, so let's resize that one. Got the full clip. Let's make it fit. And a little bit smaller, I think little bit smaller 
Center it up. Looking pretty good. Done. And voila. You have yourself a outro video. But I think we need to add a little bit of music to it at least. It's going to be kind of boring. Just clips with uh, either no sound or, con or conflicting sound clips. So you want to minimize the sound basically. And of course, you can use your creative freedom. One of them could be muted. One of them could be... Uh, audio on up to you use your imagination and let's just grab I got a little music clip here that I grabbed from the YouTube audio library and let's go ahead and definitely minimize let me shrink this a little bit so we can fit it all in here you can see it there we go so we have a clip with two videos featured last and random goodness and we have audio which you can't hear right now but um let's find a good point to cut it off at let's just cut it off right about here let's shrink that clip actually now we'll shrink it a little bit to match this clip and ideally you want clips long enough to to make it through your the length of the outro that you actually want. Cut this song off here. Delete the excess. Then I'm gonna fade in, fade out. And now we have something that's more like it. There we go. Probably for aesthetics I would have had a clip where the actual quadcopter took off more at the beginning instead of just sitting there for half the clip but you know that's that's a, a style thing I guess we can mess with I'd probably have it start right here you know right when it's taken off so people could see it and I might even have that part of the audio in the clip but I guess you can get the gist from what I'm what I'm saying here and ideally you want to save this this project so every so often you'll go in and you'll swap out the clips you know delete one go grab another one and then drop it back in down here oops make it bigger drop it in here then of course you'd have to go in and resize again to make it make sure it fits you know the usual stuff Of course, that's the same clip, but you get the you get the idea, yeah. Okay, so that's basically, and of course, you want to um, export this as a movie, and then or a you can make a compound clip out of it if you'd like by selecting all of the the uh, events or clips in the timeline. New compound clip, you can name it, and then later you can use it as you wish as a nice compound clip like that. So now we got back to back. Pretty straightforward, I, right? <laughs> I think so. For a minute there, when I first kind of started messing with this one, I was like, okay, I would put the videos on top and I try to line them. I was like, wait, there's gotta be a better way than this. And then I was like, of course, duh. Make sure the middle is transparent and drop the video below it so you can actually you don't have to be so precise with your placement of the video and it'll always look perfect. And that's basically the whole gist of the tutorial. And I think I think we'll end it right there. If you have any questions, of course, plop them down in the in the comments. If you like the videos, you want to see more, thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see. I'm not a pro when I learn things. I kind of like to do videos, kind of reinforce to myself and help people out there in, in the YouTube universe, in the internets, interwebs. My name's E.T. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.